Hi, I'm Brian Perry, tutoring high school biology. Today's topic, mollusks. Mollusks are thought to be the next step up in the evolutionary tree from, well, worms. And we're going to take a look at mollusks right now. All mollusks have a few things in common. They're all soft bodies. They have a mantle. That's kind of like a protective covering for the internal organs. They all have a muscular foot, if you will. It's not always a foot, but it does cause motion in these things. They'll all have a shell, gills, and an open circulatory system. This doesn't mean that you can open and close the circulatory system like you want and blood falls out. No. This just means that blood will leave the circulatory system temporarily to flow into other organs, to have nutrients and other materials diffuse in and out of it, and then it will re-enter the circulatory system. Alright, mollusks in general, right there. Now we're going to start looking at some more specific examples. The gastropod first. This literally means stomach foot. Why? Because if you look at a gastropod, snails, slugs, whatever, the digestive tract is right where the muscular foot is. In fact, here's a odd diagram of a snail. Down here, we have the digestive tract, right where our muscular foot is, because that's what it's going to use to pull itself along. The muscular foot is on the bottom, and it will pull itself along. Alright, now on top of our slug, snail, whatever, we have the mantle, and if it does have a shell, it'll have one over there. Again, these things are either single or no shell. There are some exceptions to the shell rule. This is one. Alright, next up, bivalves. Things like clams. These have two shells, and the foot is what holds the shells together. Now generally this means it's very tightly clamped shut. Some species actually can move by flapping their shells. Unusual, but yes, that's what many valves do. Alright, last, the cephalopods. Cephalopod head foot. These become very interesting. The foot has become this tentacle thing that is used for jet propulsion. What they'll do is they'll bring the tentacles out and then bring them together, and that creates propulsion. Things like squids do this, cuttlefish. The shell, you may have thought that squids don't have too many shells on them. In fact, they're kind of soft. The shell has become vestigial. It is retreated to the inside of your cephalopod because it is no longer needed. As for the mantle, also on the inside. That's what's happened to them as evolution has continued. And that's pretty much it for mollusks. To recap, all mollusks are soft-bodied, have a mantle, which is a covering for the internal organs, a muscular foot that helps it move, shells, gills, in an open circulatory system, which means blood will temporarily leave the circulatory system to have things diffuse in and out of it, but later re-enter. Types of mollusks, the gastropod, stomach foot. Here, the foot and the digestive tract are more or less in the same area, things like slugs and snails. These are either single or no shell. Next up, bivalves, two shells. Things like clams. Here, the foot is what holds the two shells together. These usually don't move, however, some can actually flap their shells and move like that. Last up, the cephalopod. This means head foot. And that's because they have actually changed the way their feet work to become slightly tentacled, and that's near the head. They can move through jet propulsion by undulating their tentacles. The shell, as it were, has become vestigial. It's more internally located and doesn't serve much of a protective feature. As for the mantle, also internal. Alright, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Pierce. See you next time.